All right. Hey, today what I want to do is talk to you about a Claude prompt or prompts that I created that you can take a blog post and see if you can find ways to make it more unique, more helpful for your reader. It's just a simple set of prompts that you could use to quickly update a blog post to just make it that much better. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm talking about. So here are the prompts. If you go to the description for this particular video, you'll see a link that will take you to all three of these prompts. So you don't have to worry about trying to write this down. I've got a link out to my website and you'll see them there. So basically what we're doing is we're asking Claude to evaluate a blog post, read through it, and then tell us ways to add additional content that makes it unique, useful, and helpful for somebody. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's the first prompt. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to take it over to Claude. Let's drop it in. And so what it's going to do, it's going to tell you exactly what it plans to do when it evaluates your blog post. So of course it says I can evaluate a blog post and provide suggestions for additional content to make it more unique, useful, and helpful. It's going to analyze the existing content and structure. It's going to look for potential gaps in information. It might suggest additional topics or subtopics, recommend ways to make the content more engaging, etc. So for Claude to be able to do this, we have to have a blog post, obviously. So here's one that I've written, how to edit AI generated content tips and techniques. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to copy this post. We'll drop it into Claude and let it analyze it. So we've got it copied. We'll go back to Claude, drop it in. So. Here it is right here. It's been pasted in. So this is what it's come up with after it's done the evaluation of the blog post. It's talking about, hey, add a case study, talk about common pitfalls, do a comparative analysis, ethical considerations. Now, not all of these you're going to want to add into your blog post. What you're going to do is look at the ones that make the most sense and then figure out a way to ask Claude to create some content based on these suggestions that you can add to your blog post. Now, the easiest way to do this is to ask Claude to create an FAQ to add to the end of the blog post. That way you're not going in and trying to rewrite it and add new subtopics and new sections. You're just going to go through and identify which of these suggestions you'd like to have made into an FAQ. So not all of these are applicable for an FAQ, but let's go through and hit the second prompt here. So the second prompt is create an FAQ that I can add to my blog post that addresses numbers. So remember, we these are all numbered here. So that addresses numbers, and then you put your numbers in. Do not use bulleted or numbered lists in the FAQ. Write in a casual tone of voice, write at the eighth grade le reading level. So I'm gonna grab this. Go back over to Claude. We'll copy this in. So now we have to find the ones that we want to use. So I'm going to go with two, four, five, and 10. So there we have it. Two, five, eight, and 10. Let's just delete. So I deleted those extra numbers. So create an FAQ that I can add to my blog post that addresses numbers two, five, eight, and 10. So we'll have it create that content. So it's gone through and it's created an FAQ that could be added to the end of the document that gives us some additional information that could be useful for our readers. Now, what if you wanted to write this instead of an FAQ, you wanted to write it in sections? So this would mean that you'd have to go in and do some editing in your blog post and find places within the document where you'd put those sections. It's going to be a little bit more time consuming than just pasting an FAQ to the end of the document, but I created this extra prompt so you could create this into sections as well. So let's go ahead, let's copy it and see what we get when we use a prompt like this. And remember, it was sections two, five, eight, and 10. Five, delete that. And the prompt is, is a little bit more extensive than the one for the FAQ. So it's right in a casual tone of voice, right in a third person point of view, right at the eighth grade reading level, include a bolded title for each section, write in complete paragraphs, do not use bulleted or numbered lists, 
split up long paragraphs to make the text easier to scan and read, add subheadings and bold italics if necessary for increased readability. So some of these sections that get written may have subsections there in bold italics. Now, I'm not asking Claude to format these sections specifically with HTML markdown. I typically would go into Ghost, which is the CMS that I use, drop the text in, and then set the headings to H2 and H3s accordingly. You could do that in WordPress as well. So let's write it. So here are these new sections. One is called Common Pitfalls in Editing AI-Generated Content. It's got a subtopic about avoiding over-reliance on AI. It's got another section called the SEO Impact of Properly Edited AI Content. Optimizing for Featured Snippets is the subtopic in that section. Time management tips for editing AI content. And then it's got subtopic of using tools to streamline editing. And then future trends in AI content editing with real-time fact-checking being one of the subtopics. Now, I did ask it to write at an eighth grade level. I'm always curious to see how well Claude does at that. Here's Hemingway. We're gonna check the readability of what we asked Claude to write at the eighth grade level. So let's copy it. Let's go to Hemingway, I'll paste this in, and it did a great job. Grade level nine. So Claude did exactly what I asked it to do. So that's a very simple set of prompts that you could use to enhance existing content. Sometimes you may use your long form blog post tool to create an article. And you just want to see if you can enhance it with some additional information that another blog post for the same keyword would not have. And that's why I created this set of prompts specifically so you could do that. You could either add the additional information as an FAQ at the end or write it with this prompt three where it's going to write sections with H2s and H3s, so you could also add that to your document. Whatever it is you wanna do, I've given you a couple of options here that's going to help make your content more unique, useful, and helpful. Hopefully you found this helpful. Until next time, take care.